We're talking about leading healthy, growing, multiplying groups. We're talking about the eight habits of effective small group leaders. We've already talked about the habit of dreaming about leading a healthy, growing, multiplying group. We've talked about the habit of prayer and having a daily prayer life that makes a difference. Well, today we want to talk about the habit of inviting new people to your group. It's very simple, really. If you don't invite new people, your group will not grow. And so you want to make it your habit to always be inviting new people to your group. And you also want to help your group members be inviting their family and friends to your group. We had a great example of this in my my small group just in the last couple of months. Philip and April, a young couple, came to my group and they began to pray and they invited, they both got saved and baptized. They were a part of our group. They invited April's mom, Belinda. She came to our group. They also invited April's dad, Terry, and he came to our group. He invited his mom, Judy, and she came to our group. Terry also got saved and baptized, and so did Belinda. Well, Philip invited his uh, niece, Caitlin, and her husband, Chase, and they both got saved and baptized. And then Caitlin invited her mom, Penny, and Penny has been in our group every week. So now there's eight people in my group every week because they invited uh, Philip and April began to invite their family and their friends. Just last Sunday, there were 30 people in our church watching, who'd never been there, who were watching uh, Chase and Caitlin get baptized. If you invite new people, your group will grow. You say, well, I'm not sure who to invite. Well, family, friends, people you work with, people you go to school with, uh, people that are in your church that aren't in a group, and people that are in your neighborhood who you've not really got to meet yet, but now you're going to intentionally get to know them so at the right time you can invite them to your group. So it's very simple. If you want your group to grow, you've got to invite new people. And the more people in your group who are inviting people, the faster your group will grow. Let me give you a couple suggestions for being more effective in your inviting. First of all, invest before you invite. Uh, When we moved to Las Vegas, our next door neighbor moved in at the same time, and his name is Randy, and he was an atheist. We didn't try to evangelize him right away. We just kept inviting him and his wife for dinner. So every Monday night, they would come to our house for dinner. Well, eventually, uh, we would talk about our faith, and they would have a lot of questions, and then they started coming to our group, and then they both got saved. But every Monday night, they kept coming to our group. So we were investing in them before we ever invited them. And then we invited them to to train to lead a group. And then they became small group leaders. And we invited them to keep, to multiply their group at at another level. And, And within four years, Randy went from being an atheist to becoming a pastor. And five years after we met them, Randy went from being an atheist to starting a brand new church. But it all happened around inviting. We we invited them, invested in them, before we ever invited them. And for four years, we ate uh, a meal together every week, and so that made a difference. Let me tell you, it, it's very powerful. If you invest in the relationship before you invite them to your group or your church, the odds of them saying yes are much higher. The second uh, suggestion for inviting new people is get them saying yes to little things before you ask them to say yes to big things. Grow their level of commitment. Get them to say yes to something little like, like, can I help you? Can I serve you? Or the next step might be, would you like to come over for coffee? Or would you like to come over for dessert or for a meal? And they say yes then can I pray for you about that situation? And they say yes. As they keep saying yes, the relationship gets stronger. It's going to be harder and harder for them to say no. So eventually when I say, would you come to our group? 
would you visit our church? Their natural answer is yes. So keep using uh, the, the ladder of yes to, to invite them to your group. Let me also encourage you to not get discouraged. So, sometimes we, we work the whole system. We invite them and they say no. And then we give up and never ask them again. No, don't give up. Keep uh, praying. Keep working with them. Keep investing in them because there will come a time when they will uh, be hungering for God and they will come to you if, if you keep inviting them and they'll take you up on your invitation. I've had that happen many times many times uh, a fourth suggestion is that you would learn to pray and cooperate with the Holy Spirit he knows what's going on in that person's life when you don't and so there are times I've been all ready to invite somebody and the Holy Spirit said no no this is not the right time there have been other times when I wasn't even really thinking about it he said go ahead now is the time to invite them so learn to cooperate and listen to the Holy Spirit and as you're praying for these people day after day the Holy Spirit will make you sensitive and aware. Last thing I want to say, uh, a suggestion about inviting, is that when you're inviting people, you are um, thinking in terms of how's this going to help you and how can this benefit you. So you're inviting them to things they want to say yes to, people, things that they would enjoy coming to. So don't get discouraged when you do that. If you're praying and you're looking for opportunities, they're going to go through the fifth thing, which is there will be a season in their life when they are more open to say yes. It could be the death of a loved one. It could be the breakup of a marriage. It could be family problems. Maybe their, their children have started to get in trouble at school. It could be a medical issue. They, one of them has got a bad report from the doctor. It could be they're new. Whenever somebody's new at, at a job or at a school or in a neighborhood, the odds of them saying yes to church is much, much higher. So look for those seasons of the soul. Capitalize on those seasons. If you will invite people and do it wisely, you can continuously add new people to your group who will get saved, who will get baptized, who will grow, who will become disciples, and ultimately disciple makers. Inviting makes a difference. If you invite them, they will come.